Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming this collective haul. It's things that I've been ordering for the past like two, three weeks I guess. Um, and I have been saving just to share with you guys. Um, it's stuff from a lot of different places. I have stuff from Ulta and Sephora, MAC, Stila, Colourpop, and Amazon. So kind of everywhere. I have things from everywhere. So, um, yeah, if you would like to see what um, I bought and what I've been wasting my money away on, please keep watching. Okay, so the first things that I'll talk about is what I bought from Sephora. And the first thing is a new big size of my foundation, and it is the Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow Foundation. And I mentioned this in my January favorites, how I had a deluxe size sample of this foundation, and I fell in love with it. And I told you guys I was going to go buy the big size, and I did. And I am in the color I Am So Money Honey. And this is just an awesome foundation. It's not full coverage. It's not heavy. It's not cakey. It just makes your skin look like skin. Like really healthy, luminous, lit from within skin. If you have dry skin, I know you'll love this foundation. Um, the only thing is there's not a big color selection. But luckily this color matches me really, really perfect. It just makes your skin just look really, really healthy. It doesn't look cakey. My skin kind of still peeks through a little bit. But if I need to add more, if I need to layer it up, it doesn't get cakey. So... I know, I just really, really love this foundation. The packaging is really cute. Benefit always kills their packaging. So, yeah, really, really happy that I finally picked up the big size of this one. Also, in my January favorites, I mentioned I had a deluxe size sample of this, which is a Murad Skin Smoothing Polish, and I raved about it, and it is a staple in my skincare routine. So I went and I bought the full size. This is amazing. If you fell asleep with makeup on or if you feel like you've been doing cake face lately and your pores and your skin hasn't really been breathing the way it should definitely pick this up um i'm not one to really use a lot of exfoliators or microdermabrasion or anything like that on my skin because my skin is very sensitive and it gets really really red like right in the center of my face so i really stray away from like exfoliating products but this one i decided to take a chance on and i'm so happy i did doesn't irritate me and my sensitive skin. It smells really good. You only need a pea size amount. You know how the directions always say squeeze a pea size amount into your hand and you're like, okay, like you squeeze a lot. No, you only need like the littlest amount. Covers your whole face, leaves you feeling just so clean. Like you can just feel your pores are like clean, you know? The next thing that I bought was something that I'm also really, really excited about. I'm really excited about everything in this haul, but um, it is the dupe, like the Sephora brand dupe of the Beauty Blender Cleanser Solid. So I decided to give this a try. It was $14. I think the Beauty Blender brand one might be like the same price. It might be like $15, maybe like $15, $17. I don't know. But I decided to pick this one up and it's like, I think it's supposed to be like all natural and it smells amazing it smells way better than the beauty blender brand it smells way better than any brush soap shampoo anything that i've ever ever used i already washed my full collection of brushes using this once and i've used this to clean my beauty blender daily for like the past week since i bought it so i have used it and okay so when you open it it comes like this it has this little like pad on top of the actual product and i was kind of confused when i took it out i was like whoa what is this but it's just like a little it just suctions to your sink and you can use it just like that Sigma, like, I don't know, mat that everybody's using or that you see on Instagram all the time. It's like a mini version of that. So I thought that was kind of cute. Like I was like, oh, this is cool. And I used it when I was cleaning my brushes. Um, so I don't know. I thought that was like a cool thing. And then the product is just white inside. Um, and it just smells so good. I can't get over the smell. It smells really, really good. The only thing, it cleaned my brushes really nice. Left them soft, left them really clean only thing is it doesn't really clean my beauty blender like it cleans it but I can still see the stains of like yesterday's foundation on there and I don't like that I need something that's gonna clean my beauty blender leave it looking like brand spanking new like pink and nice but this really isn't so, it what do you guys clean your beauty blender with because I'm like having trouble unless I use like straight up dove fragrance free bar soap it never really comes out clean and i know there has to be something that cleans it a little better and i don't really like the beauty blender cleanser solid to be completely honest like i don't know i just think it's too expensive for what it is and the liquid stinks to me so i don't know if you 
guys have any suggestions on how you clean your beauty blender leave them below for me because i would really really appreciate it and i also bought this dr jart waterfall hydro gel mask this probably looks super shiny because it's like aluminum but it's just a sheet mask that you put on your face and it's supposed to infuse your skin with moisture um i just saw it at the cash wrap at sephora and i thought it looked interesting okay and then also around the cash wrap where they always get you with the like the little bins around the register i picked up this naked skin beauty balm by urban decay and that is how it looks. It's just a tiny little travel size tube of BB cream, beauty balm. And the reason I got this, I kind of just wanted to leave it in my purse or at my boyfriend's house just so I can have something to put on my skin for those mornings that I don't want to put on a full face of makeup and I want to kind of let my skin breathe, but I don't want to look too crazy. Like I just rolled out of bed. I figured I'd get this, put this on, put some mascara, dot some concealer on, and I'd be good to go. Um, I tried this already one day. It's really, really, really light coverage. Um, it was okay. Like, it, I think it did what it was supposed to do. Like, it just made me look a little more alive, and it didn't really cover anything, but it just gave some life to my skin, which, um, I liked, and it was only $10, so I'll just keep it in my makeup bag for emergencies or morning afters where I need this. And speaking of naked skin, this is, I'm really, really excited about this. I bought the new Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer, and that is how it looks as well by Urban Decay. And I saw one of my favorite girls here on YouTube, her name is Diana Saldana, and you probably already follow her, but she was using this, and she said she bought this color too, Light Neutral, that's the color that I bought it in. But she said she wanted something a little lighter, and she went with Light Warm. So I swatched both colors in the store and light warm is probably a shade that a lot of girls are going to gravitate towards because it's like that pale yellow concealer shade. But I don't know, I'm kind of just like sick of a really, really light concealer and I'm really pale right now. Like I'm at my palest that I've been all year because it's like super cold and snowy and no sun where I live. So I don't know, I just didn't want an even paler under eye, if that makes any sense. So I went with Light Neutral, and I really love this concealer. Um, I used it in one of my last tutorials, and to me, when I put this concealer on, I put my concealer on before my foundation. So when I put this concealer on, I almost feel like I can almost pull off not wearing foundation. And it covers up really well. It's not the fullest coverage concealer, but it leaves your skin looking like skin. You don't look like a Barbie or you don't look like a cake face, but it covers up what it needs to cover up and it blends so seamlessly into the rest of your face. Um, so I've been just like addicted to this. I've been using it every day. Like I said, I use it in my last Get Ready With Me, my gold smoky eye. I have it on today. Um, I just, I really, really like this. And that was all that I bought from Sephora, so I'll jump right into what I bought from Ulta. Um, the first thing that you guys have seen on my channel before, if you watch any of my videos, is this Mario Badescu Alpha Grapefruit Cleansing Lotion. I really love this to take off my makeup at night. I stopped using wipes, like makeup removing wipes, and I don't know if it's a coincidence or if it has anything to do with the fact that I stopped using wipes, but I stopped breaking out. Like, I took wipes out of my skincare routine and added a bunch of new things, and I haven't broken out in, like, two months, which is, my god, like, so, I don't know, legendary. Like, I have not broken out, and I'm really happy. second thing that I bought from Ulta, which I'm super, super excited about, is this Derma Doctor Kakaru C Eye Souffle. And that is how the box looks right there, and the reason I bought this is because I saw Sephora... I really like Derma Doctor. I've used their stuff in the past. It works really well for hormonal acne. If you see that you're breaking out a lot during that time of the month, try some Derma Doctor products. I think their acne spot treatment works really well and their face wash works really well for hormonal acne. They released this like Kakaru C line, which is, I think it's like a fruit from the rainforest, which is supposed to be good for your skin, whatever. Um, but they released a face mask for it at Sephora and I really wanted it but it was expensive and I have a bunch of face masks that I'm trying to just go through. I'm trying to be good and use up products before I buy more of the same products. Um, so yeah, they released the mask so I was like, oh I want it, I want to try it but you know what, I'm going to use my mask that I already have. And then they released a serum and I was like, oh I already have serums that work for me, I'm not going to buy it. But when Ulta released this eye souffle, which is just an eye cream, I was like, okay, I have to have it, I have to order it. The only thing was... This little guy was $68. That's so expensive. Like, it was really, really expensive. I used a coupon on Ulta, which made it a little better, but still, that's expensive for eye cream. And that's the way the inside looks. I just saw 
that was like really pretty. The package is really, really little, $68 for this little guy. And that is the way it looks. It's just a white cream. And, and I've tried it a few times already. And I'm happy to say that it works. It leaves my under eyes feeling very soft the next morning. And I can put it on and watch TV or be on my iPad and watching you guys on YouTube. And it doesn't sting my eyes. Like it doesn't seep into my eyes and sting my eyes. The next eye. thing that I purchased from Ulta is this NYX Intense Butter Gloss. And when I first saw the swatches of these, I knew this color right here, which is Tres Leches, is the color that I was going to get. I'm really over the matte liquid lipstick thing. I have dry lips. Don't nobody got time for no matte lipsticks and no matte liquid lipsticks. And, ugh, oh, I'm just so over that trend right now. Like, please bring me back my glossy and moisturizing lipsticks. And this one is. It's not matte. It's almost kind of sticky, but it's really, really pigmented. That's the way the color looks right there. It's just a really pretty nude color. On camera, it looks really pretty. It looks almost like a really mauve dusty kind of nude color, but it is really pinky on my lips. Like, when I put it on, it looks like I'm putting on, like, a pink gloss. So, um, I don't know. It's nice, though. It's awesome. The formulation is awesome. The pigmentation is amazing on these. Um, a little sticky, a little tacky, but... I don't know, it's okay. It doesn't, like, bother me on the lips. The last thing that I bought from Ulta was this Eyelore Brow Nourishing Oil. And that is the way the packaging looks right there. It's just a little roll-on um, little tube of oil, which is probably just argan oil and whatever else is in here. Looks like that. This baby was $10, but it's supposed to just condition your eyebrows and that'll obviously promote healthy hair growth. So I used it once. I was just like kind of nervous because I was like putting it on and I was like, wait, what if my eyebrows fall out when I'm using this? Like what if I don't react well to this and my eyebrows fall out when I'm trying to make them grow? But yeah, it just as it cares and conditions. I used it once. It's okay. It didn't itch or bother. My eyebrows are still on my face. Okay, so now that I'm done with Ulta, I'll move right on to MAC. It was a very, very small order that I placed on MAC ordered three things. I only have two to show because one was on back order, but the item that was on back order was only my Fix Plus, so that's okay. Um, the first thing I ordered was a new lipstick, and this is in the color Spirit. And honestly, I don't know why the hell I bought this lipstick. Like, when I was ordering, I must have, like, looked at a swatch or something and thought it was pretty because as soon as I opened it, I was like, okay, that's really, really brown and... I don't know, I'm more of a mauve nude as you see. I always wear like a mauve nude in my videos. I wear a mauve nude every day in real life. And I'll swatch it for you. It's just like really dark. I don't know what the hell swatch I like. I must have looked at a swatch and thought it was pretty and decided to throw that in my cart when I ordered. That is spirit right there. This product I'm most excited for in my entire haul. It is the MAC Lightful C essence but I didn't know what an essence was I just figured it was some sort of serum um but then I was reading on allure.com on their like skincare articles how you should start incorporating an essence into your skincare routine and they talked about how yeah it might be a pain in the ass to add another step to your skincare routine because who really wants to add another step into their skincare routine but how important adding one is like an essence because what essences do is remove like the top layer of dead skin cells from your skin. So if you use this in the beginning of your skincare routine and then put on your serums and your moisturizers and all your anti-aging stuff, those products are going to seep in and work better if you put an essence on. And this little guy is really expensive. It was like $44, but I am so happy that I bought this. Um, it's amazing. I've used it probably like four or five times already. I'm in love with this. This is definitely a staple in my skincare now. Um, it smells so good. Yeah, I just think you guys should try it. Even if you go to a MAC counter, put it on your back of your hand and see if you feel like a difference or notice a difference because I did and I was like, oh my god, that's crazy how I feel a difference on my hand, on the back of my hand. So yeah, MAC Lightful. I'm really, really happy that I got this. Okay, and then really quickly, I ordered one thing off of the Stila website and that is the Stila in the light palette and i have wanted this literally for like i don't know two years or something. it's just a neutral kind of warm eyeshadow palette okay. and then the last thing i want to talk about i placed a small order on colourpopcosmetics.com and i have never tried anything from colourpop their items do look amazing all their eyeshadows look amazing the lippy sticks 
But, I don't know, I just never ordered it. Online. When their blushes came out, I knew I had to have these two colors that I ordered. They're the new Super Shock Cheek Blushes, I think that's what they're called. Um, and they're really, really pretty. And can I just say that my delivery from ColourPop was probably the most, like, well-packaged package that I've gotten in a while. Like, they made sure nothing was going to come damaged or cracked or really cute. On the top of the box, it says, keep the magic in and close the jar tightly after use, which is just cute because I think these are like a mix of a cream to powder blush. And on the bottom, it says, made in the city of the angels, which, I don't know, I like packaging. I really, like, I'm a sucker for packaging. And the colors that I bought were Between the Sheets, which is a matte shade, and Prenup, which is a satin shade. And when I saw swatches of both of these, I knew definitely that I had to have both of them. So I will swatch them for you guys now. The only thing I had a problem with, I used Prenup um, in my last tutorial in my Get Ready With Me, the Golden Smoky Eye. And I had a problem with the brush, like picking what brush to use. I used a stippling brush in that tutorial, but... I don't know, I didn't really get a lot of products, so I wonder how you guys, if you guys have these and know a good brush to use with them, please leave me a comment. It would be really, really helpful because I have no idea how to. Um, so yeah, like I said, this shade is prenup. This is the first one that I ordered. Um, the packaging is a little bulky, but whatever. Um, it's just a really nice, mauve kind of like dusty plum color. And I'll swatch it for you. It's super pigmented. These blushes are like no joke. So that is prenup right there. As you can see, it's just a really pretty, pretty light, plummy, mauve shade right there. And the next shade that I got is Between the Sheets, and this is a matte shade. So packaging looks exactly the same, and I will swatch this one for you. This one's really, really pigmented. It feels like really wet, like... I don't know. That is between the sheets right there, if you can see that shade. It's just a really pretty, like, neutral, warm, almost kind of coral shade, but a little darker than that. So if you can see, that is between the sheets, and that one right there is prenup, the lighter one. So I really like these. These are really, really pigmented. The only problem, like I said, is I'm not sure which brush is a good brush that I can pick up a lot of product. And then just because I was on the site and because I was ordering, I figured I'm going to try one of their lippy sticks. But um, I guess this is a video of like failed lip products because, I don't know, this color is really, really dark too. Like, I don't know, this is weird. I'm going to swatch it. It's really pretty. It feels very, very nice. I think the idea of the lippy stick is really nice. I just need a shade that works for me. Um... Right there is Brink, that shade right there at the end. Pretty shade, but not my type of nude. You know? So, whatever, you live and learn. <laughs> and then the last thing that I bought is from Amazon, and it's my Model in a Bottle setting spray. Um, I've used this setting spray for like the past two, three years. I always buy the Sensitive Skin Formula, and I always get them off of Amazon. I've never had a problem. You get this huge, huge bottle of setting spray for only like $13.95 or something like that. Way better than the Urban Decay Scandinavia setting sprays. This locks in your face. Like your face isn't going anywhere if you spray this on your face. You just have to like spray it and you have to leave your eyes closed for like a good 20 seconds. Like you have to really let it just like sit there. Because if you open your eyes it might like mess up your eyes a little because it does have a lot of alcohol in it. Um, but yeah, sensitive skin formula. I have sensitive skin. Doesn't bother me. Doesn't break me out. Doesn't burn. Nothing. It's just really, really, really good. So yeah, that was it for my big old collective haul. I'm glad that I finally got to share these items with you guys. And now I can take them out of the bag they've been hiding in and find them a new home in my van. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.